I'm about to do something that makes me so nervous. I am shaking and so anxious right now, but this is something I've always dreamed of doing and it is a bucket list item and I am going to brave it and do it and I will tell you as soon as it's over what I just did, but I'm just too nervous to talk right now. Wish me luck. completely drenched because the event took place outside and the rain was first a little sprinkle and then it just downpoured and we all got soaked. Definitely need to up my immunity so I don't get sick for next week. What I went to was my very first modeling casting call and this was for Orange County Fashion Week. I have always wanted to be a model. I mean, growing up with the supermodel era, it was something I've always dreamed of and wanted to, but my height has always kept me back because I'm five foot seven and I never quite made the cut. Uh, to be honest with you, I never really actually tried. <laughs> I saw auditions pop up on my Instagram. I looked at the registration form. They had a little box there that had you check off your age. My age box was in there, so they were looking at all ages, not just, you know, young 25 year olds. I was definitely on the older side, but there were some women in their 40s that were there and I was not alone, so that felt really good. They advised you to come with a fresh face and wearing all black. I was under the impression that they were giving you shoes, but that turns out that it was at, for the actual runway shows that they'll give you shoes. So I ended up showing up in flats, so I felt extra short because all these girls not only are 5'7", 5'8", 5'9", 11", and 6 feet practically, and then they're wearing 4, four inch heels on top of that. <laughs> And they look like giants and I just looked really, really tiny. But I think you can walk better in heels anyway. At least you have a better strut and it was just hard to pull off my strut in little ballerina flats. So that's unfortunate, but I don't think they were really caring so much about that. Um, they had a group of designers that were meeting with models and some of them were just completely um, disregarding you just because you weren't tall enough. So some of them had 5'8", five, 5'9", five, uh, five, uh, minimums. So, you know, you were just completely not in the running for those. Uh, I did meet with one designer. I think she has a little bit of a, like an Indian uh, vibe. Maybe I can get to walk on her show. That, that would be really cool. And then for the rest, it was just quite chaotic because of the rain and it, it was kind of really, actually very unorganized to begin with but it was still a really cool experience and exciting i mean if i can get even called for one show that would be really really exciting so if not i'll try again maybe for the fall season but this was super exciting i couldn't really get to film too much and i certainly didn't have anybody by my side to film me and i really wish i had because um, a lot of people just came with friends and the friends were filming them and that sort of thing but i came by myself i felt very brave doing it i was literally shaking the entire time maybe because it was a little cold outside but also because i'm just so so nervous i feel so much tension in my jaw because i'm just clenching from being so nervous and I don't know, I just, yeah, <laughs> it was exciting, it was exciting. We are just heading out to dinner, we're in a mad rush, we're going to Sushi Roku in Newport Beach, and my outfit of the day are the new, or old new archive Tonio trousers from Cezanne. This is a brown cause merino wool t-shirt, and this is a Goelia little crop jacket, my gold heels, um, Fendi earrings and 
um, little bag from a uh, Christmas present from my friend, a little faux uh, fur bag, and that's my look. Thank <laughs> you.
hunt for a denim shirt. I recently sold mine on Poshmark. It was one from Cezanne. I'd had it for a couple of years, but it had short sleeves that were a little poofy and a little bit of frill on the collar, and it's just not me anymore. I wanted to go for something a little more streamlined and minimal. So I found this one on Mango, and I absolutely love it. However, it is a size too small. I did pick it up in my usual size US 6, which generally fits me or sometimes I need to size up because of my broad shoulders. In this case, yes, I do need to size up for those, but it's also very tight across the chest, as you can see. And I'm not overly large chested. I'm not wearing a padded bra right now but it is definitely pulling here and it's making me very uncomfortable. So sizing up to a US 8 should be perfect for me. What I do love about it is that it does have a little bit of a fitted style and I don't think it's because it's too small on me. I think it's just the style of the top. I love that it's very fitted here through the waist and it gives me a nice waistline here and I really love that. It would definitely give me the option of leaving it out like this or tucking it in and that is something that I'm really excited about. Hopefully this is still in stock and I can exchange it for a size eight. Moving on to the denim, this is also new from Mango and these are their straight leg jeans with a high waist, regular fit ankle length. I picked this up in a 38, which is the US six and I really like them. Actually, I'm quite in love with them, but I do think in this case, I need to probably size down one size because they are a little big at the waist and I feel like they are just kind of a little too droopy at the bum but overall I love the silhouette they have a nice straight leg they have this kind of twisted seam here if you can see that it just adds a little bit of visual interest but I love that it's straight it's not like a kick flare flaring out or anything just really nice and straight all the way down the length is near perfect for me I would have liked them to be maybe a centimeter higher and if I do size down to the US 4 it might even give me that centimeter of ex of less length that I am hoping for so that could end up being the perfect jean for me these are 100% cotton rigid so I do imagine that they might give a little over time even if the size 4 might fit a little too tightly on me I think I'm kind of just in between sizes but I'd rather try the 4 and see how that fits in comparison to this but overall off to a pretty good start minus the sizing issue the quality of the items I think is really quite good and uh, let's move on from here. This dress caught my eye on the Mango website. I love that it is a mini style. I love that it was a shirt dress style and I love that it was kind of a whitish ecru color which of course white dresses are very in for spring summer so I wanted to try to stock up on a couple of options. I picked it up in a US 6 and I must say I think it is very true to size. It even fits great through the shoulders. I love that it has a little bit of a tapered waist and it's not gaping at my chest so all things are a good check there it does have a slight western feel to it but not overly extreme on the western side i did pair it with my brand new brunello cuccinelli's which have a little bit of a western vibe to them but that's about as western as you're going to see me but there are a couple of things that are bothering me about this first of all the material this is a 99 percent polyester one percent elastane although it feels good good I wouldn't know that it's polyester on my skin from the feel of it uh, because it does feel nice on the body and second of all I did not notice the kind of balloonish poofy arms on the website. I didn't take notice of that. So that is something that I usually don't gravitate towards because it's just not really my style. I love this from here to here, but really just not crazy about the sleeves. That might be a deal breaker for me. I think this is cute enough that I could maybe overlook the fact that it's polyester, but as the weather gets a little warmer, it's not as breathable. So I have to keep that in mind as well. I'm definitely on the fence about this one. Let me know what you think. How are we feeling about Rose? Rosettes. They are still trending to a certain extent. I mean, not as crazy as they were last year, but they're still around and still on trend. And I saw this at Mango and wanted to try it. This very bold rose, of course, caught my eye and I'm still loving rosettes and just wanted to give this one a shot. This is my usual size six and I think it is true to size. However, look how absolutely mini this is. I mean, I can't even bend down to grab anything or get in and out of a car without exposing myself. So this is definitely going to have to go back for that reason. I do wish it was probably about here. That would make me feel so much more comfortable, but I do love the ruching detail. I love this rose 
rose. I do think it's a little too dramatic and too large. If you see me turn to the side here, you can just see how much it is just protruding out. And I wish it was maybe half the width of this rose here. It would be a lot nicer, but I can see what they were trying to do is create a little bit more of a dramatic effect with it spiraling inside like that. But I think they could have accomplished that without making it so large. My husband said it feels a little like a fanny pack. <laughs> I can see that a little bit. I love the concept of this skirt, but the execution just kind of missed out on it a little bit for me. Let me know what you think. Pencil skirts and elevated office wear are definitely on trend for the season. I saw this pinstripe pencil skirt on Mango and wanted to give it a try. It is knee length and it's hitting me right at my belly button. It has a slit right here which is a little on the modest side. It's nothing that is overly exposing. It is a polyester and viscose blend, but it feels really nice. And as you can see, it is fully lined underneath. And as you can see, it is pinstriped. It has kind of a little bit of a shimmer with a Lurex thread running throughout it. And I love that subtle pinstripe detail. You can see the waistline here. This is a US 6 and it is a little roomy on me. However, I do think a size four would be way too small on me. So I would leave it here at the size six. I'm very happy to see that it has belt loops so I can take advantage of that. And I just paired it here with a top from Brunello Cuccinelli that I picked up in my shopping spree, which you probably will have already seen by now but I thought this made a great monochromatic look. These are also mango kitten heels from last fall, which as you know, I've been wearing like crazy and I love them still. And I think this is a fabulous skirt. Unfortunately, I am in between sizes, but I do like the way it looks and feels nonetheless. I loved this skirt the second I put it on. This is a maxi column skirt. It has a beautiful long slit right up the middle and it's very fitted otherwise. I have the size small. I don't know what came over for me to think that I wanted to try a size small instead of a medium, but I think from past experience with some of the skirts with Mango, I did find that they sometimes run a little large, so I wanted to try a small just to see how the fit is, and I'm so glad I did. Actually makes me kind of reconsider the gray skirt that I just tried on, and perhaps I can get away with a size four in that one as well, but this is absolutely wonderful. It is a poly viscose blend again, but I think I can forgive it because it really is gorgeous. As you can see the material, it is a little thin, like this is kind of the seam of this shirt as I have it tucked in. So you can kind of see a seam there, but you're not seeing, I am wearing nude underwear and this of course is nude as well. So you're not seeing color. I don't think it's thin in the way that it's gonna show your underwear especially if you're wearing a skin color underneath, but I do think it is thin as far as showing the top. So maybe I'd find a different way to tuck this in if I were to wear it with this. But I love how bodycon and skimming this dress is to the silhouette. It really is quite flattering if you ask me. I think it is a skirt that you can easily wear in the daytime with flats like these. By the way, these are mango as well. Really adorable rhinestone ballerina flats. I think they're like an Alaya dupe or something, but I love them and I've been wearing them constantly. I think it looks great with this. I think it would also look fabulous with a kitten heel or a strappy shoe to wear it out for a night out. So I think it's a very versatile skirt, beautiful color, and I think this is a really nice option for the spring summer season. Let me know what you think. If you saw my last mango haul, I showed this leather skirt. I had tried it on in a size six and I was a little iffy about it. Again, I thought I was in between sizes and I thought maybe Maybe if it was in stock, I'd try the size four, which I have now. This is the size four, and I'm so glad I made the switch because this fits me so much better. It is nice and high-waisted. It's coming up at my natural waist, and my belly button is right there. Really fitted and stunning. This is the way I had envisioned it. I'll put a cutaway of the size six here, and you can see that it just looked a little too wide and almost a little frumpy looking on me, where this is just nice and fitted and really pencil style, really cool and sleek, and definitely the look that I was going for. As you can see, it is real leather. It is a beautiful chocolate leather. Leather is in style for the season. However, it warms up pretty quickly here in California, so I don't know how much longer I can get away with this. However, it is going to be a good little piece to keep for the fall and winter season. Chocolate is 
definitely still a strong color. I did see it on the runways um, coming up for the fall season, so it is going to be sticking around, and I'm happy about that because I did get quite a few chocolate pieces, and I'd hate for the color to not be on trend anymore. However, it is still very much a neutral, so you could still keep wearing it, and of course I, I will too, but I just like things more, I think, when they are trending. It's just me, it's the way I am. I love it here with my gold heels, a great pencil style. It is midi length, but I can forgive it because I love, 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 love this silhouette. It's really fabulous. And I'm so glad I sized down in this case. Mango did an outstanding job with this bikini. Oh my goodness. First of all, it's leopard print, which I'm absolutely loving for the season. So I definitely had to get my hands on this one. It is a triangle cut bikini top and the bottom is a little bit of a thong. It has a little strap here that you can tie yourself at the hip and it's very high waisted and it's very elongating and flattering and I love how that looks. Of course, I'm gonna keep it a little modest with a little cover up here, but I wanted to show you how this fits. It's really, really remarkable. And I'd say that it's perfect. It's true to size. The both pieces are medium. There's a lot of room in the cup here. So if you're a little larger than me, I'm a 34C, but there's plenty of room here in this cup for a little bit more maybe for a D. And the bottoms are adjustable, so if you wanna wear it a little smaller or a little wider, totally up to you. But I think this is a great find, and I'm gonna see what other patterns they have on the website because these are perfect for vacation, holiday, or just sitting by the pool.